I'd like to go over this example of a truth table, which is a basic concept here, except this truth table has more than two propositions. In fact, we have four. And so sometimes that can be a little confusing on how to set up. And um, I'm doing this in Microsoft Excel just because it'll be easier to work with here. Um, so you have to know that if you have, the, for the number of propositions you have, and here I have P, Q, R, and S, you need two to that power rows. So here I need two to the fourth rows. I need 16 rows. And a good way to start filling this out to make sure you cover all your cases in an orderly way is to start with your last proposition, in this case S, and go down the table going true, false, true, false in that pattern. So I just keep going down, alternating true, false, true, false. Now continue on and now just double each one of those moving down. So here I have true, true, false, false, and I'll continue in that pattern. Okay, for the next one, I need to go four trues and then four falses. Four trues, four falses. And then lastly, I just double that. So I'll go eight trues and eight falses. And now I have all 16 possibilities related to P, Q, R, and S. For example, what about P false, Q true, R false, S true? Okay, right here. False true, false true. All right, now, um, I want to now look at column F. P, if P, then Q. And so, if P, then Q, I'm only considering columns B and C. So for the moment, I will highlight those just so I know which ones I'm looking for. And remember with if P then Q, the only time you get a false is if P is false and Q is true. So here going down I have true, true, because these are, here P and Q are both true. And for the first four cases, they're all true. For the next four cases, I have P is true but Q is false. That's when my truth table would read false. And then, if P is false, remember logically, Q is true regardless. So for the rest of the table here, I just go down to true. Okay. Now for the next one, I have if R then S. We follow a similar pattern. We don't need P and Q for the moment. I'll unselect those, and I'll go select D and E, because those are the two columns I'm interested in at the moment. And again, if R is true and S is false, that's the only time I have a false statement. So first I have true, true. I have true, false, so that'd be false. But if R is false, it doesn't really matter what, what S is. Here I have a true, false, so that'd be false. True, 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 false again. True, 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 false one more time. True, true, so there's if R then S. Okay, now I'm done with those columns, so I'll unselect them. Now this next one says not Q and not S. So I don't have Q and uh, I don't have not Q and not S. Um, but uh, let me highlight the two rows that I'm looking at, the two columns I mean that I'm looking at. And this time, um, you could, if you wanted, put in a, another column for not Q and another column for not S. Um, and what I remember is for and statements, um, it's only true if they're both true. Okay? Now remember for not Q, not Q is the exact opposite of Q. So not Q would be false, 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 true, 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 and so on. And the same with not S. So here, if I want to say not Q and not S, that's only true if both Q and S are false. So again, you could put in columns, not Q and not S, but I'm going to skip those because I can imagine what they are. I'm just flipping the roles of true and false for a moment. Okay, so um, here, this first one, Q and S are both true, so not Q and not S are both false. 
So that would be a false statement. And again, the only time I'm going to have true is if Q and S are both false. So I have false, 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 true, false, true, and then continuing down, all these are false except we have one more true, and a last, the last one is true as well. Okay, now we're going to do a similar thing with not P or not R. And so let me highlight P and R. And remember for a moment, the role, the roles of true and false have sw swap places. So for an OR statement, you get true if either one is true. Certainly if they're both true, but if either one is true. So if not P and not, I mean, not P or not R, and I'm looking at the columns P and R. I'll have a true statement unless they're both true. Right? Because if P is true and R is true, that means not P is false and not P is false and not R is false. So that would not fit the not P or not R. Does it make sense? All right. So this first one is going to be false. Then false again. But now I'm going to have one true, so that would make it true. False, false, true, 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 true. Now if I have two falses, those are going to be true. So the rest of these are true. And there I have my table. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, truth tables can be pretty straightforward, but when you start getting big like this, they can be kind of confusing. But anyway, if you have questions, let me know, and I'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching. <laughs>